Hey dudes and dudettes, what up? It's Chris Zuper here. Today we're going to be looking at a lick using the A minor pentatonic, drifting between different subdivisions. I'll play the lick and then I'll discuss the different subdivision idea that I have. Okay, so the premise of what I'm doing here is relatively simple. I'm playing the A minor pentatonic through a variety of boxes, just going first, second, third, fourth, and fifth position. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm going to descend in 16th notes or semi quavers, and then I'm going to ascend in 16th note or semi quavered triplets. So we're going to have something like this. I'm going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, pineapple, 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 pineapple. So when I'm doing double triplets, I'm uh, I'm thinking in pineapple. So what I'm doing to descend through that A minor pentatonic, very simple. If you don't know this, you should be spanked. Uh, but I'm playing <laughs> eight, five on the first two, first two strings, then uh, seven, five on the third and fourth. And then as I'm working that up in triplets, I'm drifting to that slightly faster subdivision. So I'm playing from the fourth string, five, seven, then five, seven on the third and five, seven on the second. And then from there, I'm jumping back up to the third string and then ascending those next three strings. So we're gonna have something like this. We're gonna do that exact same idea in the second position of the A minor pentatonic starting from here. So I'm going 10, eight, 10, eight, 9, 7, and then 10, 7 from the 1st to the 4th string. We went from that point. Once again, I'm drifting those subdivisions. I'm descending in 16ths and then ascending in 16th triplets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, pineapple, 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 pineapple. Let's bring that up to the 3rd position. Now I'm going to be playing 12, 10 on the 1st, 13, 10 on the 2nd, 12, 9 on the 3rd, then 12, 10 on the 4th. So we've got... Once again, I'm ascending from the 4th string to the 2nd, and then the 3rd to the 1st. Okay, let's move up to the 4th position now. We're going 15, 12, 15, 13, 14, 12, 14, 12, from the 1st to the 3rd string. Then I'm going to be drifting subdivisions as I ascend. We're gonna go through that last position now from the fifth position of the A minor pentatonic. This time, what I've got here is playing 17, 15 on the first two strings, and then uh, 17, 14 on the third and the fourth. And then from that point, I'm gonna be doing the double triplet ascend. We'll take that a bit slower. And then in usual Chris, uh, Chris fashion, I'm going to go from the semitone behind my target note and bend that in. And that's pretty much the whole idea. Now, I'm not so concerned with the melodic content of this exercise. Uh, what I want you guys to take away from it is that whenever we have an exercise or a sort of a pattern of notes or even just a scale shape, Ways that we can make that sound more musical is just to do these little ideas instead of just having, you know, long shred runs that are like. Does it really matter that I've drifted between a Hungarian minor scale and done diminished arpeggios with five note groupings? If it's just this, you're not going to get the same impact out of your passages. So that would be my main takeaway from this. Uh, I will say that start with this and then you can try some interesting ideas for yourself. What I'm gonna do now is play through all five of those positions and then do it again even slower with some tabs. Thomas and Tabs. <laughs> A 
And that was my drifting subdivisions lick in A minor. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please join up to the Patreon if you want to have this lesson and anything else that I do. I have three books out that I want to let you guys know about. Ultimate Shred Machine if you want to up your chops in shredding, sweeping, legato, and tapping. Rock Guitar Mode Mastery if you want to up your understanding of how to use the modes in an improvised and composed context. Shred Guitar Improvisation is also out now, my most recent book. If you want to up your understanding of how to deal with chord targeting and different sequences. And I do have a cheeky fourth book on the way at the moment. So that's uh, something in the works. But if you want all three of those books together in one definitive volume, I have the Shred Guitar Solo and Collection. So you can pick them all up at the same time if you're feeling so inclined. And of course, if you already know the way I do things around here. I have all three of those books available in a video course format on Udemy and ChrisSuper.com if you are not much of a reader. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson and I'll catch you all very soon.